This morning, we're sharing a story about the power of redemption and paying it forward. The U.S. has less than 5% of the world's population, but about 20% of its prison population. That is not good. One California program is tackling mass incarceration by focusing on empathy and restorative justice. Omar Villafranca shows us how an unlikely partnership forged behind bars helped a high school student in need, and it all began in a prison book club. It was incredibly refreshing to have young men come into a space with us and see us as what we are, which is people. For the past seven years, students from the Palma School in Salinas, California, have been part of a book club at an unlikely place, Soledad Prison. And former inmate Jason Bryan says the discussions went beyond plot lines and protagonists. When I encountered the young men, I was just encouraged to see the, the, the good choices that they were making at, at such a young age when I was not. When he was 20 years old, Bryant was sentenced to 26 years to life for his involvement in a 1999 robbery that resulted in a shooting death. Behind bars, Bryant was looking for ways to be of service. Then, at book club, he heard about Ernest Gordon's miracle on the River Kwai. In the book, prisoners of war created a culture of sacrifice, and they called it mucking for each other. Inspired by the POWs, Bryant and his co-defendant hatched a plan. And he leaned over and he said, that is exactly what we need to do. We need to muck for a young man. The brothers in blue, as they were called, decided to raise money from other prisoners to create a scholarship fund for a Palma student in need. Almost 800 inmates, many working jobs like sweeping, clerking, or making furniture, raised $32,000 over the course of three years. So the base pay for incarcerated people in the state of California is $0.08 cents an hour. An hour? An hour. And incarcerated people were so drawn to the idea of going a mile deep in a young man's life that they were giving up their month's pay. To contribute. They were anywhere from 50 cents to $100 here and there. Mia Marisu and Jim Micheletti founded the literature program called Exercises in Empathy. When students go in, justifiably, they're, they're a little bit afraid. They go in thinking monster and they come out thinking a man, a human being. And they've, they've done bad things, but there's no throwaway people here. When they learned about the inmates' plan, they knew exactly who should receive the scholarship. Before his sophomore year, Cy Green's father had a heart transplant. His mother had an accident and lost her vision, and both parents lost their jobs. That was a financial burden um, with all the medical bills and stuff. Green was shocked to learn inmates, who he'd never met, had come together to pay for his tuition so he could continue going to private school. I was mind blown, and then immediately I was just grateful. Green is now 19 and in college. He graduated from Palma School last year with Bryant by his side. Is there any level of personal redemption in getting involved in something like this? I mean, you're talking to someone who committed a crime that cannot be undone, um, the harm. So uh, I don't know about redemption. I can say this. I know that those of us who have truly transformed our lives are committed to add value in any way that we possibly can. After 20 years behind bars, last March, California Governor Gavin Newsom granted Bryant clemency. Backdrop? Yeah, I think so. He's using his second chance to mentor students like Cy Green, who know he also has a responsibility to continue paying it forward. And having that, I guess, them in the, in the back of my mind all the time, they put all this effort and all this work and to me, so I have to honor that and carry that legacy on. For CBS This Morning, Omar Villafranca, Dallas. Wow. Thank you, Omar Villafranca, Dallas. Yeah. There's so many layers to that story. Yeah, it everyone. just kept getting deeper it and did. deeper. It really did. I love Cy Green saying he was mind blown and then grateful. And, then, and the, the other instructor who said they're, they've done bad things, but they're not bad people. Yes, well, and the lessons me. that have been learned there, and everybody involved. And you realize that the prisoners who were making eight cents an hour, yes. how much work how went hours? into giving him that I was trying to figure out the math, and it, I lost. Yeah. I lost it. I couldn't do it. And yeah. to give the money to a person you don't know. Yeah.